Hi, I'm Jim Rogers, and I'm going to answer the question, where do hitch hounds come from? Well, hitch hounds start off as a resin pattern, just like this. This was our girl, Emma. And a match plate. This is the, the boss that goes into the back for your trailer hitch plug. And then what we do, we fit the, uh, the pattern on the match plate. These these are, these are the mold frames for our sand casting. They line up so that they, when I pull them off, the two halves of the mold match. Now, dust the pattern with, uh, with some parting powder so that the, uh, the sand doesn't stick. Now this is a fine grain sand with, with, uh, with clay and uh, oil. It's called Petrobond. I get a light coating on it first because I want the uh, want it to go through the through the sifter and get all the nice fine grains on the surface of my piece. Then I can start dumping in the sand. it in good and tight, clamp my whole mold halves together, Okay, there's half a mold. Scrape it off nice and flat so it sits back down level on the, uh, the board. Now this that I'm screwing in will be, uh, when I cut it off, that will be where the uh, the eye bolt threads into, but also this will act as a as a reservoir for extra metal as the uh, the metal cools. I don't have to be quite as picky with my sand on this side. Even though I want the uh, the detail to come out in that that boss and the signature and the hitchhound's name on there to come out, I'm not quite as worried on the backside as I am on the face. I want to make sure that that uh, the casting has Emma's beautiful face on it. Who says pounding sand is a bad thing? So it doesn't take too long to make a mold, does it? Okay. This. That's a vent rod. So what I do is I poke that in the sand so that whatever gas is given off by the, uh, 
by the hot metal as it cooks in the in the sand. It can vent through the through the sand. And then the other is this this is the feeder so it can have the metal pour through. And I think that's in the right place. That hole that I just cut was the gate for feeding the metal in. Okay, so there's the first half of the mold, and there's the pattern still in there. So I tap it a little bit just to loosen it up from the sand. And my handy little extraction tool that I screw into the back of the pattern. And very gently lift that pattern straight out, it comes out nice and clean. And there is the mold. So since I have this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the gate where I want the, the metal to run into. So what I do, come to the top of the head here, and I cut the gate. But instead of going straight from here into there, cut a little bit deeper. What this does is that allows, as, your pour, as the metal pours in, the metal can come past the gate and any dirt that gets washed down when that metal first pours in, that metal bypasses the, uh, the gate to go into, into the cavity. Now, I've just pulled this off of the, the back side and you can see that mold came off very nicely off of the boss. There's the Hitchhound's name, there's my signature, there's the number sign. Clean that little thing out, because that will become a problem. Just to give myself a little bit more of an opening. Now I've put the two, two halves together and it's ready to pour. Keep watching. I'll show the, uh, the, the melting of the metal and I will also do another one on, on the sculpting of Hitch Hounds. So thanks for watching.